Is it coming home like it did in 1966? Well, Sky's data team looks at everything from the economy to the state of the NHS. But we've also crunched the numbers to see how the England men's squad flying out to Qatar compared to players of previous years. Have a look at this football pitch that we've mocked up. It tells us if Gareth Southgate is taking a more attacking or more defensive squad. Each line represents a different England squad. The closer to the goal line, the more defenders picked. Now, the 2018 Russia World Cup squad is all the way down here, the most defensive. But look where this year's squad sits. Eight forwards in the squad actually make it the most attacking lineup since 1962. Now, England's form going into this tournament has been pretty atrocious, but does that matter historically? If you look down the table, keep looking down, keep looking down, they are actually the worst we've ever been in the run-up to a World Cup, hardly promising. But all is not lost. The squad at the top in 1950, they had the best run into a tournament. They didn't make it out of the group stages, although the 1966 squad won all of theirs before they went on to win the whole thing. And regardless of how they've done, what we want to see over the next few weeks is goals. We've averaged out all the players' international goals in their career up to the start of a World Cup. The further to the right, the more goals that squad had under their belt as they began their campaign. And it might not be a surprise that the winning 1966 squad had the most goals on average in the lead-up, 5.8 per player. 2022 squad has an average of 4.5, which isn't too shabby. We can also look at the mix of the squad in terms of the levels they play at for their club. 12 different club sides are represented among the 26. The best years, 2006 and 2014, they would have had an average league position of fourth. In 1966, always keep going back to that, the average was 10th, although the league did have two more teams in it back then. And this year, we are looking at sixth, so a bit lower than it has been in previous years. That is what the data shows us, and we'll be keeping an eye on it throughout the World Cup over the next few weeks.